hey, this is Russ with Wing Saber Historical Fencing. And by demand, I'm going to do a short little rant about how powerful it is to return to guard. It is one of the best things you can do, especially if you're not sure what to do. Why? Because you stick a point out there. And if they've been doing anything awkward, they jam their hand on the bottom of your point and you get to snicker at them. But if you parry three and you return to guard, you're past their blade, you have a hit. If you parry two, parry one, oh, I have my numbers reversed, that's okay, I need coffee. You return to guard, pop. You have cuts immediately on their hands if they're slow recovering from their cuts. Returning to guard, simple as this concept is, is one of the fastest and smartest ways you can defend yourself. We have guards for the reason. They make the geometry predictable. If someone's trying to sell us on feints, we can just go, eh, eh. Yeah, maybe they go here, they go there, and eh, eh, they go here, they go there. They get a little close doing it, pop, come back to guard. Roman, can you, you step in a minute? I'm just going to grab a saber-like object at random. Here. Roman cuts one. Got one. Bang. From here. I've got my strong on his medium. It's just where we wound up. Pop, return to guard. As he goes to do anything else, there it is. I've returned to guard. I've made a cut. Roman cuts four. four. Pop, return to guard. Oh, that was fun. I caught his sword here, so that's fun. My return to guard will now jam into his arm uncomfortably. If I didn't catch his guard, I have this thrust, he has this point he has to deal with. Even if he tries to do fancy stuff like this. I don't want to do fancy stuff. You don't? No. Why is that? Because it's way too close. Yeah, it's far too close anywhere. for comfort. Thank you very much. Yep. So that's just a couple quick examples and we don't have to belabor this and turn this into a 14 minute video. When in doubt, return to guard. It's not a bad thing to have your point sticking in somebody's face. And it's not a bad thing to go, I am not sure of that feint. And you learn to be very calm. And all the people who rely on fake attacks and feints and all that stuff, you just wait for them to do something meaningful or for them to move in a way that lets you go, oh, I'm attacking into that so I can force them to start dancing to my tune. Thanks, have fun and go do the thing in guard. We've got more videos and content coming, so if you liked what you saw and it was useful for you, please stab the like button, slash subscribe, and punch the little bell icon so that you're notified immediately when new content comes available. Thanks, and go do the thing.